One photo. For posterity. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. Climate change isn't real. It's not like I don't own all the original eight stones. Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Lambert is waiting too. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. It could have gone either way. Samuel, do you think that we each have a destiny? Yes, I, I do, Max. In many different lifetimes, of course. Kate Marsh believed in something different, so... That's her destiny. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I, I hope she finds them now. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. He deserved it. And more. Samuel tries not to judge people. But Nathan shouldn't be here. Maybe he's supposed to be here, though. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... 
They just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Who can I ask? Look at the weather. And the animals. Not to mention poor Kate Marsh. We all need to look out for Get that food in space. your belly. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the an- Oh, many do. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Now, who can I ask? Hello, Max. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So, you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you... You might be the wisest. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could... I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here, unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? 
Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. I feel like the sky wants to yell at us. That's so ironic that Warren out. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Samuel Hello, misses Max. his squirrels. Thanks again for helping me. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. It's so lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Oh. 
Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Nathan is way into this part. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Nathan likes his tortured subjects Way too much. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. That is so Chloe. Oh my God, Chloe. Monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the press. Please, please, please stay away, Nathan. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Yeah. Get off me, bro! Yeah. Oh.
Corin, stop it! Come on! Oh! Oh, my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You! And you! You're all dead! Let's go. Now! Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you! Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beatdown to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. So now we have to see Frank all the way out here. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality.
Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No. You don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it, especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Get off of me! Motherfucker! I wonder how we'll get around this. Take the trash out sometime, dude. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. 
Now what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it, are you crazy? That's my dog! Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here! And I'll spin you on your ass! What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! Gosh! You actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know. You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... We just want the code for your account book. Now! You're fine, whatever, just... Just put the goddamn gun down. You already shot me, all right? There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just... Just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. <sighs> yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. Should I rewind or stop? Listen, Clo- Please, what? You kind of love. Frank. You aim. Just the name. Oh, is that all?
Listen, Frank. Yeah, yeah, every... There's no... Yeah, yeah, well, it'll... Come on, Frank, this is... Right, okay. Frank. Oh, yeah, you didn't come... I... I am... Finally, I... I... I try not to. D Dude, she was scared. We're cool for now. But my dog is... We're only here to talk. Shit, you wouldn't have time. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. And that's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Listen, I read Rachel's letter. I know how much she cares about you. You read that letter? Huh? The one in my RV? Are you fucking insane? You read my private letter?! Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late! She's gone! You don't even know her! Like you did? I loved her, asshole! And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always! Calm down, Frank. Listen, please. You. You. Oh. Listen. Yeah. You and Chloe... What are you hiding, Frank? You should want to help us, not scare us away. Don't you accuse me of anything. You don't know me or who I am, or what I can do, you understand? Huh? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. It's too late! Listen, Cl Please. You can- You- Yeah. There's- Yeah. Oh. I- 
Fine. You, you have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. We don't have much time, Frank. Listen, Chloe. Frank. You. What? Yeah. No. But... Me... You... Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice. Or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. <laughs>